Hey everyone, it's Mark, and a while ago I covered a Moorish, or as he calls himself, Mormish sovereign citizen, who lost his car window and got arrested during two different traffic stops. If you haven't seen that video yet, I've left a link in the description. Today we're going to watch him at a bank, and the bank doesn't accept his fake Moorish ID card. Let's roll the video! Yeah, she's calling you know, uh, the cops. I'm not. I'm not afraid of uh, calling the cops. I got everything. I'm filming this now. So, so are you discriminating against my nationality, my right to a uh, bank here? I'm guessing he's on the phone with some YouTube lawyer, and nope, she isn't discriminating against you. The bank doesn't accept your fake sovereign citizen documents. My First Amendment, Fourth Amendment, are you discriminating? Well, she's calling the cops. Hi, this is Carmen Alvin. Thank you so much. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay. He is now video recording me, indicating that I am violating his rights and he cannot leave our business. Please don't take me like that. He's a customer. I do not know him. He's been in here before, but I am not familiar with him. No kidding. So we're asking that's what I'm. That's what I've been wanting to do for a long time. So he's I just need him to well, okay. probably needs to be educated. Most likely educated. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Well, the cops should be here in a few minutes. And I've been coming here for like years and they all of a sudden don't know me now. Did you notice he didn't start recording until she called the cops? I guarantee you before that, he was probably harassing her. Okay. Well, I got plenty of minutes on my phone. I got plenty of minutes on my phone. And I have a camcorder. I always keep a camcorder with me just in case BS happens. No, just um, withdraw some money from my account. You could withdraw money from your account if you just provided an actual ID. Well, they're, they're not going to do anything, but it's time for an education anyway. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, in the meantime, all, my money is in the bank. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but I need a bank card. Where do I get a bank card? How do I get a bank card? When you present valid ID. No, never had a bank card in my life. Yeah, she said I need a valid ID. Yeah, so it should be on their way, and it's taking longer than usual, but it doesn't matter. Get everything open, we can, um, I just put this on YouTube. I just put this on YouTube, and 
let everybody know. You did put it on YouTube, and once again, you made a fool of yourself. I've been coming here for years. You didn't have to show ID. Now all of a sudden, I need, I need to show ID. Yeah, my ride is waiting for me. I, I should have been gone already. This is why I need a car. So you could lose your window again when you refuse to give the officer your license? You are not authorized to use that camera in our bank. Is that so? Under what law? Under what law? You do not have Is that law or policy? Is that law or policy? I've been coming here for years without a problem, and now I have a problem. Yeah, First Amendment protect their right. Remember that. Time for an education. The only one that will be getting an education is you. Private businesses have the right to set up their own rules, and if somebody doesn't follow those rules, they can ask them to leave. Yeah, I'm still waiting for the cops that are taking their time coming here. All I want is withdraw my money out of my account. That's all I want to do. I've been doing it for months and Sundays without a problem. Three-inch thick plastic. It's not in the form of a gun. And I'm only filming her. I want to uh, take big fifty. Yes, ma'am. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. She is the supervisor. Yes. Nope, she haven't shown me anything. She keeps saying ID, better ID, state ID. I was here last month without a problem. I, why don't you show me some documents that's saying that I need a license ID card? When I came here last month and before that and and month before that, without any problem. You do know I have an account here. All I want is to withdraw my money out of my account and go on about my business, and I'm still here. My ride is waiting for me outside. You got things to do. That isn't their problem. If you would have just provided an ID, this interaction would have been over by now. And it's taking a long time for the cops to get here. They're supposed to be here by now. <laughs> well, I'll try to. She she said ID. We, I want to see ID. That's all she keeps saying. You want to see my account number? Oh. She's not saying anything. She's just ignoring me. Never had a problem like this. Never. For years, never had a problem. Well, it's been 10 mi uh, 12 minutes, and the cop still's not here. It's supposed to be here like in three minutes, two minutes, but they're still not here. There's some dead air here, so I'm going to fast forward a bit to when the officers do arrive. Hello. So, Hi. What's going oh, on? What's your name and your badge number? I'm Officer Hines, badge number 57. Okay, um, I'm trying to withdraw money from my account. And okay. it's saying 
that my Morris ID card is not valid. So, oh, it, or, what's your name? Uh, I didn't give it. So you want to speak to my attorney? Because I have him on the phone sure. right now. He's on. It's on speakerphone now. Oh, hello, sir. Yeah, how you doing, sir? I'm good. What's going on today? Okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what their policy is. Apparently they have a policy on which form of IDs they'll accept and what forms they will not, and I can't tell them what, uh, what their policy is. But if um, he's in here causing a disturbance or they don't want him to be here, he's going to have to leave. I mean, coming here. Okay. All right. Well, let me talk to the management here and see how they want to handle it. Obviously, this is their grounds and this is their property. So, if they don't want somebody on their property, they have to leave. But let me see what they want to do or see if I can get this resolved so that everybody's happy. Okay. All right. There you go, buddy. Are you the manager? I am. Okay, let's go back here and talk real quick. Yeah, I've been coming. I've been coming here for months. A few minutes later. And they could be delete that video? Uh, we can't no, do that. Not. It's, it's a not first of all protect like the right. Can't delete okay, it. Listen, the uh, bank wants you to leave their property now. So yeah, you're going to have to leave or you're going to be arrested for trespassing. Yeah, they go, they're telling me I need to leave now. Yeah, and if you don't leave, it's called trespassing. Why is this concept so difficult for sovereign citizens and frauditors to understand? Mr. Studsell, you gotta go. Yeah, they're telling me they're gonna arrest me for trespassing, and uh, I just came here. Uh, Do you know something smaller than 100? Let's talk outside. Come on. Oh, well, you, can you give me documentation on why you're refusing my nationality card? She wants you to leave. She's not going to do that. If you want to talk with the corporate office or something like that, you can, but this particular branch doesn't want you on the property right now, so we have to go. Okay? Let's go, well, please. They're telling me to leave. Mr. Stutzel, you have to start moving, please. So, um, what's the next best thing now? Because they're telling me I will uh, You have to be... I leave. Remove from the premises. Start walking. Oh, okay. Thank you. I like. Well. I hope you're not driving. I know you don't have a license. He said, "Hope you're not driving because you don't have a license." Well. Yep. That's both threatening me with arrest. No press, bud. So much for that education he was talking about. And I gotta say, I love how the officers handled that situation. They didn't put up with his nonsense too long, and they got him out of the building pretty quickly. The last I heard, the sovereign citizen was in Mexico, but that was a while ago, so I wonder what he's up to now. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.